So this beautiful game is all about murdering everyone. You see them, you gotta murder them. That's all we gotta do. And if we want, we can look good doing it, and that's my only intention. And now we get our first upgrade, either a forward kick, a mug toss, or an uppercut. I'm feeling uppercut because Mortal Kombat. And we'll just dive back in and start a fight. Basically, we're just gonna keep comboing. We keep hitting spacebar until everyone's dead. Hi guys, have you ever been uppercutted into a wall? And it turns out there's even slow motion too, so we can see them die in slow motion. Next is either the forward kick, the mug toss, or the roundhouse kick. I think I'm gonna add the mug toss into the effect. Because the ranged attack never hurts. Look how small this one is, and beating up a child. With a tie. Children don't wear ties, it's obviously an imposter. There we go. Oh, and this is like a big child with the tie. Ow. Okay, he fights back. Uh oh. So we're gonna have to maybe, uh, get closer to him, or go around. Okay, I see what the ladders are for now. I get it. Uh, yeah, we'll figure this out eventually. Don't you worry. He's like stunning me and that's very annoying. Mm, luckily, we can just murder him and that kind of solves that problem. I got some health back, but that also probably tells me I should be breaking more boxes to find more treasures. Anyways, time for our next upgrade. So we can upgrade our forward kick to a bicycle kick or our uppercut to a shoryuken. And I want a shoryuken. Because I've really been liking that uppercut so far. It slams the enemies into the roof, at which point they get very hurt. And then they die shortly after that. We're gonna do these ones in slow motion. That's a short you can, there's a spin kick. I'm like flying through the air doing most of these. Maybe that should be my strategy. If I can stay in the air, they're probably gonna have trouble hitting me. So right away I'm wondering just how many upgrades we can get for particular moves. This floor has cars parked on it because there's people parking in the office. So we can increase all kick damage, groin pain lasts two seconds longer, or increase max health. I'm gonna go with increase all kick damage because we get a few good kicks in our arsenal. I'll get uh, all kicking damage from here on out. Hey big boy, you ever been kicked into the ceiling before? We got a gift for that murder. Oh, we get to upgrade again. Oh, we can upgrade to show you can to levitate objects. I just wanted that because of how ridiculous it sounded. So we get another promotion. I guess we'll take a roundhouse kick because I want to be a glass cannon anyway. The more damage we can do, the better. All right, you. Oh, I see. I literally upgrade everything and then they're sitting ducks for me. So I think that brings us to a boss fight. So we're going to go ahead and levitate him a little bit. And then he's kind of a sitting duck for me for a minute. Why is he on a chain? I can't hit him. Get down here. This was a bad idea. I don't want to levitate people. I want to murder them. But I think we can almost like stun lock him in levitation. There we go. I think he's dead. Hi, I just killed that guy. Oh. Well, that's kind of fun. Tall rooms are going to be these guys' enemies. I'm trying to get him out the window though. Could you lower down just a little bit? Thank you. I think I'm back kind of at like the first floor again. I think we just restarted this particular cycle. Though it says 90%, so we've murdered 90% of the people we need to. That levitating thing is fun. Can you guys get out the window? You can. I should be pushing them out the window every time. Oh, you can only upgrade things so many times. So let's try the forward kick because I want to get people out the window. And uh, if this guy was a little less girthy, we'd probably knock him out a window. But at least he's a big target. So the levitation thing actually worked really well that last floor because I just levitated the guy out a window. I didn't even have to touch him. Uh-oh. This guy might knock me out a window. Or just murder me. You're fired, but I got seven promotions. Which has unlocked the weeb, which knows karate. Punch, knife, punch. And handyman, which is hammer, dance, and something. So this time, let's try the weeb, who's got the punch, stab, punch ability. And he's got a run like a ninja passive. I'm hoping the run like a ninja passive means that I can go quietly. No, that didn't seem to work. But we got stabbing power now. The stabbing power is limited, however, though, so we gotta use it a little bit sparingly. Oh, what they're throwing knives. Then our next ability is probably gonna be... Let's go with more karate chop. We're gonna be a karate chopper this time. I'm gonna karate chop my way to success. I don't care who gets in my way. I do want to add a roundhouse kick into the mix though because that creates some space between me and the idiots. Especially if I can kick him out a window, that's just easier. Oh, this is the kid again. I'm karate chopping a kid to death. Now we're going to karate chop big boy hopefully to death. Uh, yeah, so far he's mostly just stunning me like that. Not really sure what to do about that other than that. Well, we're just going to go straight at him then. I don't know what strategy is anyway. I just want to hurt him. And he's dead. That's a restock of all my knives. So then what do we upgrade? Do we upgrade our karate chop? Our spin kick? Probably a karate chop, our very first one in the combo. You know what? I'm sure it's good because it's this one. Hiya. Yeah, it sends him back a little bit and probably does extra damage. Ow. Ow, what's happening? I got killed already? This guy wasn't as good. So we're going to try the handyman because he's smart enough to come with a hammer. And that looks something like this. Oh, that's actually really powerful. And then staple gun. Oh, okay. So as long as I can time it right to hit the guys with the hammer, uh, that's going to be big damage. And then I can go like that. This guy hits hard. Oh, I got to grab this. But because I like the hammer toss so much, I'm going to go for coffee mug toss. Uh, that way I have two ranged things that are probably going to run out, but I'm also going to upgrade the hammer. This guy's a savage though. He's just hammering everyone in the office. 
There's the upgrade I wanted. We're gonna go from a hammer to an axe. Staple. Coffee. Okay, here we go. Axe. Got him. That's what I get to use to open for this guy with, too. I'm gonna hit him with the axe right away. That way we get lots of damage down right away, and we're gonna staple him to the... Wow, that worked really quick. That was a boss. We just destroyed him. So, this is pretty good. Increase max health for every move. So, the more moves we stack down below, the more health we have. Surprise your enemies when you break combo. I'm not even sure how to do that. 20% chance to regain ammo on killing an enemy. I'll take that one. Because they do have two ranged attacks. And ranged attacks seem to be pretty good. Because I don't have to get close to the idiots and then that happens. So, I can staple that guy. I wonder if I can staple them together. And then push him out a window. Oh, a chainsaw. Yeah, we're going to upgrade to a chainsaw because, obviously. Hi, guys. Oh, that works great. This guy's going to be easy to just sneak attack because we're going to get right up there and staple his head to the wall before chainsawing him to death. So then we either get double XP for two minutes, a delivery parcel, or ninja stars. Let's take ninja stars. Double XP sounds fun, but it doesn't hurt anything. Hey, good news. I'm on your floor now. I think that was a bit overkill. We ninja starred him, chainsawed him, and stuck him to the wall. All right, for big boy here, we can hit him from over here. We can staple him. We can coffee mug him. Can't hammer him, but we can ninja star him. Then we can chainsaw him. I just realized for the first time his health is actually at the top. So, if we use our range attacks... Yeah, he can't really get over here anyway. Ninja stars. And... Chainsaw. Excellent. And we're back on the first floor. But we'll get stronger and stronger as we go and probably find better enemies and new bosses. But I'm really liking this build. It feels kind of overpowered so far. I don't really have to even strategize anymore. Chainsaw's at max level. So we're going to turn our ninja stars into high yukin. Which is going to look like that. Oh, between that and a chainsaw, we got it made. Hello, sir. Have you been out a window today? Hello, sir. Chainsaw. Oh, this guy actually hits pretty hard. Oh, we almost got him out a window. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, there we go. So, the promotion. The Red Lake and Ninja is not faster, but it's cooler. Uh, surprise your enemies when you break your combo. Heal six health when re-rolling. I guess just Drunken Master, surprise your enemies when you break your combo. Again, I don't know what that means. And I don't care, I'm just going to continue smashing everything because it's working out well for me so far. And we've almost made it to the dance party. And I'm all about it. Whoa, that went way out a window. And the can just one-shotted the entire floor. Are these supposed to be like a bone? Whoops. I think I chainsawed myself out the window. Oh, that's okay though. All right, well, I'm going to get in on this. Wow, yeah, those are just a gimme. Uh, choose a move to upgrade. What happens if we upgrade no more Hayuken power? So let's upgrade our uh, punch both sides into a spin punch. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It's a little bit of a weird combo, but it works. Oh, and I got to grab this real quick too. And then we're going to also... I guess just take three more re-rolls. I haven't really been using re-rolls yet because I don't know what's good yet. So far... Everything seems a little bit good. It's a trap. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's fine. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, no one can really get super close to me right now. We're going to Vortex Punch. Then we're also going to take this and get Multitasker. Increase your health for every move. What about him? What's he doing down there? Hello? I think he's just patiently waiting to die. Oh. Okay, well, he just gave up. I don't blame him. Oh, this guy's got like a gun or something. What do you... I don't know what he's holding. I stuck him to the roof somehow. I get a little concerned when I don't know what they're holding, but we're going to slow motion this guy. He's some kind of ninja. The office ninja. That makes sense. Well, I missed him with my chainsaw. Come on, we got to get close to him. Oh, wow. He's uh, he's a little bit stronger than I thought. I just got to get my chainsaw on him, though. The chainsaw is a great equalizer. And my Hayuken, also that. Got to get that health. Wow, can I roll two? Am I not understanding how to do this yet? Got him with the chainsaw, that had to hurt. Oh, look at his health at the top. He's got so much of it. Uh, I guess I'll probably upgrade to another axe. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep beating him up kind of like this. How does he keep dodging like that? Ow. I think I just got murdered, but I got 13 promotions. And I am not caffeine addict, so I should be good at this one. So his moves are like Superman punch, splash coffee, front kick, throw coffee. We're going to try this. All right, what does this look like? Okay, that is like a Superman punch. Then I think I just drank that coffee. Okay, I can work with this. Next, I think I'm going to take another forward kick. Because there's a lot of windows as we get further on, and knocking people out the window seems to be a very good strategy. Especially when they're this small. The caffeine addict is good, but I think I like the last one better just because of the hammer and stuff. The hammer is very powerful. So, I think on this one we're going to turn our coffee into Red Bull. Next four hits are double damage. So, I drink the Red Bull. Next four hits, double damage. One for you, one for you, and one for you. Three extra ammo, increase health for every move, increase all kick damage. 
let's go moves at three extra ammo. So we're going to have lots of damage multipliers. I wonder if I put them side by side if we get like a double multiplier. I'm going to try that if I get a chance to reorganize. But for now, I'm just going to continue to casually murdering the entire office. So we're going to upgrade from Red Bull to Cocaine. And might as well. I didn't even see what that did, but I assume it's like Red Bull, but a little bit better. Which is bad news for everyone, because we're going to do some serious damage. Okay, it's active. Let's beat up this guy. Down the stairs we go. You don't belong here. Kick. So as long as we just keep hitting him, we're going to do big multipliers. I'm going to try and get an upgraded move next to that so we do like extra, extra, extra damage. But for now, I think this will probably work. I don't even know if I'm hitting him right now in slow motion. I guess all of our things probably do have uh, extra multipliers on them because I have uh, three attacks and two multipliers. Oh, you didn't fall down. There's no drop outside your window. Well, you know what? Get up. Just go. Wow. Persistent. Next, I think I'm probably going to reroll this. And we could take a Shoryuken. I think a Shoryuken is probably what we want now. I don't really know why, but I just felt like, you know, it's just fun. And there's something very satisfying about kicking them across the room or out of the building. Time for another boss fight. I don't think I'm going to get him out the window, but you never know. I think he just murdered me. Okay, well, I think I'm going back to the handyman because that hammer and stuff hits really hard and works really well. So it's going to start here and we're going to pick up every upgrade we can along the way. Like, especially this one. Because we already got new choices, as I'm being hit, we're going to re-roll into another hammer. That's perfect. The more hammers, the better. Next upgrade, we're going to re-roll into one more time. I would pick another hammer, but I think the game froze. Yeah, the game definitely froze. And that's a shame, because we would have already had three hammers. And I really like the hammers. Okay, back to where we were. We've got two hammers already, but we also have a coffee to double the damage of the hammer which we're going to turn into an axe so we have an extra damage axe and for those of you that are familiar with an axe they don't really need extra help being very dangerous okay he can fire straight down though didn't know he was a trick shot okay ow wow okay so this is a bit of a strategy but probably supposed to just wait till he climbs the ladder then he's vulnerable for a second ow didn't know we could do that uh yeah there we go there's a chainsaw already double damage chainsaw we just need some ammo for our coffee uh, next we can have a Red Bull, restores two health. Next, four hits are double damage. Definitely want that. Also need to pick up that ammo over there to restore everything. So now we're going to have a uh, coffee and a Red Bull and then the chainsaw. So that's going to be fun. Then we're going to chainsaw him. That one-shotted him. <laughs> one shot and he died. So as long as I have that ready for the bosses, nothing's going to stand in my way. So next we're going to upgrade... Slow time and gain invulnerability for five seconds. Oh, I don't actually want that. But we're going to do this. Restores two health. Next four hits are double damage. So we're going to be healing and dealing more damage thanks to those two. Thanks to Red Bull. All right, got another kind of big guy coming up. So we're just going to go back to our chainsaw. We only got one booster on the chainsaw right now, but that's probably plenty. Well, that's half his health in one shot anyway. So that's a good start. Probably should be keeping my distance from him. But when you got a chainsaw, you just don't really care that much. And then how about this? Cannot be hurt while buzzed from caffeine. We're gonna get a lot of caffeine, so we're gonna be pretty involved. <laughs> Whoops. And I think I froze the game again. And that's kind of annoying because we had a really good run going there. I was very excited for that damage. Picking up roughly where we left off, I have a strangely similar run going where I now have a double Red Bull caffeine boost on top of my chainsaw and then caffeine makes me basically invulnerable. So yeah, we pretty much picked up right where we left off somehow. So as long as I can be hitting people with my chainsaw, they're pretty doomed. Then I'm also going to add a taser gun to my arsenal. But it would be nice to refill my ammo a little bit. Well, we're going to put him out the window and then not get it by him. We're back to the ninja. Unfortunately, I don't have the ammo to get my multiplier going, but if I can... Oh, he's so close to getting him out the window. I do kind of want to fight him on this side. Oh, his stunning him works great, though, too. Could have thought that tasing a ninja is very effective. Uh, kind of running low on tasing bullets, though. But that's okay. We'll just keep... Uh, I, well, now he's on the roof. How am I supposed to get him up there? I really need my damage multiplier right now. And this furniture is pretty annoying. Oh, oh, there he goes. We got him out the... Oh, okay. Thank you for all this stuff. Uh, we're going to take increase all punch damage. I don't know if chainsaw is a punch, but we'll assume it is. Time for another boss looking guy. We're going to chainsaw big boy who's going to push me probably towards the window and slam me. Right. Well, I'm holding a chainsaw so he can bear hug me all he wants, but that's not wise for him. Then we're going to upgrade spin punch to a vortex punch. So that should be extra damage. And we're going to get ambushed by these guys. Again, not really a bright idea for them. Now we're into like a lounge or something. And uh, I want to get to that present because that's going to start to count down pretty soon. And I want the uh, re re reward. Uh, so we're going to take a, a, a karate strike, I guess. That's okay. We need a new whoops weapon to start upgrading. Oh, I lost my upgrade for doing that. I didn't realize that was a thing. I also didn't realize these guys could move between floors. 
Whoops. Well, we had an upgrade for a second, and then we lost it again. And then that guy one shot at me. But we got a jogger. A jogger, but also a extrovert. And there was one other one, but I don't know where it went. There we go. Task Dodger. The jogger so far seems not bad, especially when I combined him with an uh, upgraded machine gun right now, which has coffee before it, so we're doing like double damage machine gun, which seems to be wrecking everything. That's not a surprise somehow. Uh, then we're going to upgrade to a minigun. That's a lot of damage too. We need more coffee in front of the minigun, considering we can go like that. And that was without any uh, extra damage uh, multipliers. And our ammo seems to be staying pretty full because one in five enemies are dropping it and we have a lot of ammo. We kicked that guy way out a window. I like this jogger. The real test is going to be this boss. And we one-shotted him. And we still have another minigun shot lined up behind that. I wonder if I can get these guys all to line up and kill a whole bunch of them at once to make more efficient use of my ammo. So I can go... Nah, it kind of works. I mean, they'll probably all follow me to the top anyway. But if I can be minigunning like more people at once, that's just more efficient use. That's probably good for a crowd and I need to get to that upgrade. Oh, right, I got it. I'm also going to upgrade my coffee to a Red Bull. So next four hits are double damage. Because I think this was where the trap started, but at the rate my jogger is kicking guys out windows, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. These guys are always annoying, but I have ranged guns too this time, so I can kill them from a distance. So we're going to take extra XP for a second, and we're going to upgrade anything we can. Helicopter kick. Now normally this guy is really annoying because he's a ninja, but I bet he can't dodge a minigun. Nope, he sure cannot. He's already dead. Oh, look who decided to show up to help their boss who's already dead. I'm really glad I decided to take a jogger and then give him guns. Because the guns are just lots of damage. You know, I'm going to go get that before it disappears. I don't know how and why they disappear, but they do sometimes. Stampede kick! I don't know what that's going to look like. This guy thought he was safe down here. I come back for you, friend. And we're going to add another Red Bull to the mix, and now we're doing extra, extra damage. And he, well, I kind of missed him with the uh, first volley of the uh, machine gun here. Let go of me, please, sir. Right, okay, this is going to get a little bit sloppy. I need to be able to clear some space. The big guy's just sitting on top of me, and it's not fair. Get minigun, please. There we go. Just had to get the minigun involved. Then everyone dies really quick. So that's a bit of a drawback of the minigun. If they're close enough to grab me, uh, I don't really hurt them very much. Probably cannot be hurt while buzzed on caffeine, because we're buzzed on caffeine a lot. 100% full health, uh, we'll just take that. So gotta remember that if they get close enough to me, it's gonna be a problem. But we're buzzing from caffeine, so hopefully less damage coming my way. And there's the ammo stock up I wanted. Lost my combo there, but that's okay. Not sure what the combo's for. Maybe just experience. Okay, you guys stop coming out there. And you... Uh, oh, what are we upgrading? I guess roundhouse kick into spin kick. You, please... Why am I asleep? Hello? Okay, well, you die, and then you also die. Oh, we got a rooftop guy. Interesting. So let's see how he's going to like this. Minigun, and he's gone, and he's back, and minigun, and he's gone. You guys, uh, oh, I got levitated. Who levitated me? That's not fair. I'm the only one who can levitate people. Oh, we got to swim down. That's super annoying. Okay, well, this isn't going necessarily according to plan, but as long as I get my minigun going again, we'll be okay. Ow. All right, well, we're back. I'm going to grab this. And we're just going to keep attacking things as much as we can. And my big kick should clear out some space for me. There's the minigun again. Oh, is he dead? I think we killed him. I got so lost in the fray. I was just kind of one with the bullets. Jeff Bezos, can we see your feet? Whimpering uncontrollably. Snot runs over his blah, blah, blah. Help him up. Stamp on his face. Uh, his face collapses beneath the heel of your shoe. You hear a satisfying pop. Jeff starts whimpering louder. Push him off. I don't want to listen to whimpering. Now that you're the CEO, what do you do? Enjoy your success. And now we unlocked Egomaniac and Conservative. And it looks like those might come with a lot of guns. So we'll play with that next time.